stopped at this little lo local market. Picked up some like chicken curry, like 10 things of roti because we're all obsessed, especially you, Brennan. <laughs> and the best thing is, look at this chocolate cake. Oh, it looks, it's like a brownie. This looks absolutely amazing. So we just landed in Lethem, which is District 9 of Guyana. It's like red sand, like something you'd see in Western Australia. Climate's completely different. We're in the desert. So we're about to hop on this awesome 4x4 and then drive four hours all the way to Wichita Ranch where we're gonna learn from the vaqueros. Right, we got the drone in the air. Master pilot Brennan using his hair as shade so you can see the screen. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous all right, here. All right, we're ready. We got three hours to go, but we got Leroy to keep us entertained. <laughs> he's amazing. Yeah, he's just giving us a little tour on all the birds and all the wildlife. And we've pretty much followed Brazil this entire way. We're going south and you can see all the mountains of Brazil on the other side. It was more like crowded indigenous areas. And now we're just going deeper and deeper into the bush. It's hot. <laughs> it's real hot. I already had, no, I'm good. No coffee for Dylan? The last coffee yeah, just- what? what? The last coffee was just sugar. <laughs> I don't love that, but I do love chocolate. Is that a what is double, that? Is that, is that a double, double fudge? It sure looks like it. Extra That's not chocolate. What is it? Tastes like cher like cherries. Fuck. It almost tastes like brandy. It's not chocolate. Those look like chocolate chips. Look at this. They're tricking us. This uh, vaquero take a picture? came up on his horse with his bow and arrows. He's dope. This is a Wapishana vaquero, part of a long lineage of cowboys raising cattle in South Guyana since the 1800s. And the best part, they do it all barefoot. Not what I was expecting. Yeah. What were you expecting? I was expecting like a, a, a cabin or something. <laughs> what are you doing? Nice. This is so different than where we just were. It's so like different. Shock. Oh, nice. The best words there is. They've got lunch for us. <laughs> Our day just got a little bit better. <laughs> a lot better. This is. We just pulled up to our camp, which is right there. You take like a five step walk into this little oasis paradise. And then you just cool off instantly when you get in here. <laughs> I like it here a lot. <laughs> so we're gonna hike this local mountain, get some views from the top. And then tomorrow we're waking up at the crack of dawn, pounding some coffee and we're gonna herd cattle. I also feel like, I don't think I've ever felt more like a city person right now. Like these people are, living out here their yeah. feet are full of calluses they're walking barefoot they're tan skin they're like these guys are cowboys isn't this rock that we're swimming in like 2.5 billion years old too? yeah yeah the, they said this is some of the most historical land in the world they use uh 
crazy. She was really smart. I don't know if you caught that. We can play her clip of all the history because I went right over my head. Right down here at the creek, the, the rock down there is oh, more than two and a half billion years old. Billion. So it's probably the oldest pieces of rock that you'll ever see on the surface of the earth yourself. Wow. I would say, unless you're really looking, yeah. you're looking for old rocks. These rocks here actually date from the very earliest mm, creation of continents in the world. Very beautiful, very exciting. Cool. So today, you guys, if you want to still, are going to be climbing up Wee Tao, which is that large mountain behind over there. It's not a technical climb, but it's um, quite strenuous, I would say. Right. But if you're fit, it's fine. Yeah. You know, really, I have actually asked Leroy. Right, Leroy? which means big sister. Wee wee means big sister. So I have a feeling there's a smaller mountain right next to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm catching on to the to how you name these mountains. This is gonna be so sick at sunset. We're going all the way. Yeah. Right how is this still in Guyana? I'm not tired at all. I'm like wiping the sweat out of my eyes because I can't see. How old are you, Conrad? Eight? Oh my gosh, he's going to be running marathons by right ten. I went died out here. Oh. Weak American boy. <laughs> Was it worth it? Oh yeah. Look at this. Look who made it! On the next episode, we save the best for last. Anita gets attacked by African killer bees. And really, it just turns into a shit show. Whoa, whoa, whoa.